Hey, what's up guys? So today we're out here with the Ruko remote ID module and we're gonna be showing you guys why if you don't have a remote ID compliant drone already, if you guys have older drones or you guys are flying FPV drones, this is the device for you. So let's get it. All right, so if your drone does not already have built-in remote ID functions, like my iFlight Nazgul here, um, you can go ahead and pick yourself up one of these Ruko devices. It's very simple to set up. You go on the FAA's website, register your drone, get a drone registration number. I'll leave a link down below where you guys can do that. Um, go on there, do that, and then link up with the Ruko app. It's very straightforward. The directions give you all the info you need. You just scan it, download the app. The app gives you all the info you need. It took me about five minutes to set up very simple and then you just turn it on and stick it on top of the drone and you're ready to go um it's very easy um you really can't screw it up and then you're fully compliant you have no problems flying this drone wherever you want as long as it's a legal zone to fly a drone so let's show you guys how all that works all right guys so check out the setup we got the nazgul here we got the roku or the ruko right on top and it's strapped in right there with the battery and then once you go over here to the app, you just wanna hit drones around and then you guys will see drone will pop up there and you will have all of your remote ID information right here. So let's get this thing up in the air. All right, so I got the drone on the ground. Everything's linked up with the Ruko and I'm linked up to my remote. I'm just gonna send it up real quick without the goggles on, I just got the remote. Um, we're gonna throw it up in horizon mode. So oh, I gotta wait for the for the GPS to link up with the drone. Take a second, hang on. Now everything's linked up. We have GPS signal on the drone, we have GPS signal on the Ruko, and I'm just gonna fly it without the goggles real quick and see what's up. Start recording. And we'll put it up. We'll see. Are we reading? Yep. So we're reading some data on the Ruko. That's pretty cool. I'm horrible at flying this thing without goggles on. Let's bring it back. Got to fly it in a straight line. Fly it straight back. Right down. All right. Let's throw the goggles on and get some real flying in. All right, I got my goggles on. I'm screen recording on the Ruko so you guys can see the data it gives and record, we're up. And I'm trying some new O3 settings. So guys, let me know how the camera quality is looking. The Ruko only weighs 17 grams, so I definitely don't feel it. It's literally the first day in weeks I've actually been able to fly. It's all the hurricanes coming through. It's been very windy. right back through the trees. Still kind of windy out here today. The wind's definitely, that's tough. Pick her right up, but let's bring her back and make sure that the Ruko is still on there and everything is straight. So as you guys can see, we had a little crash there, but the Ruko still 
strapped right in and still transmitting. Perfect. I mean, I did land in the grass. It was nothing crazy, but I mean, still, I thought for sure it might have came unstrapped. But looks like we're chilling. Let's get it back up. So I'm gonna throw the drone back up, but this time I'm gonna record the little map area that it gives you on the Ruko app. So you could see where the drone's at. Start recording. A little bit left in this battery. And I fumbled that a little bit. There we go. Adds the money. That's about it for this battery pack. Let's bring her on back. All right, so as you guys can see, this device solves everyone's problem that has an older DJI drone that is not remote ID compliant. This solves all the FPV pilots uh, problems that have FPV drones that are over 250 grams. Um, this is just a great unit to have. You should definitely have one of these if you have more than just one drone. If you have older DJI drones, you should definitely pick one of these things up so you can be remote ID compliant and fly wherever you want as long as it's, as long as it's a legal area. But I think that's all we're going to have for you guys today. Hopefully we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.